Hi guys, I'm Gronia Sunville, Australian badminton player, and this is going to be a video workout for grade threes or above, or around 10 year olds, but any other kids of any other ages are welcome to try it as well. This is going to be a quick warm up, a body weight circuit to some intervals with some different strength and conditioning exercises, some fast feet agility movements, and then finishing with some badminton skills and some hand eye coordination. So what you are going to need is a badminton racket, if you don't have that, a tennis racket, a table tennis bat, something like a spatula, pretty much anything kind of big and flat that you can hit something up with. And you could start out with a balloon if you wanted, or otherwise a shuttlecock, a tennis ball, um, a ball of socks, anything like that. Um, and finally, you'll need a drink bottle because we're going to be getting hot and sweaty and we need to stay hydrated. All right, so let's start with a warm up. So we're just going to start with some jogging on the spot. And into some star jumps. Jumping those feet in and out, arms going up and down. Good work. Some high knees. Get that body moving, heart pumping, blood flowing. Some bum kicks. Good work, all right. Now we're gonna go into some toe touches. So right hand going across to the left foot and then left across to the right. Just alternating here. Good work. Then standing up, we're gonna do some back twists, crossing that opposite knee across to the way we're twisting. Just getting a bit bigger, of a, a bit more of a twist through the back. Good work, all right. Next, we're gonna go into some arm pulses. So one arm up, one arm down, and you're gonna push them both back twice and then switch over. So we're just stretching through that chest and that shoulder at the front, pushing through. Good work. Now we're gonna go into hugging ourselves and then opening our chest. So we're just flapping our arms open and then crossing them around our body getting those shoulders warm again. Good work, now I'm gonna do some single leg hops. We're hopping forwards and backwards on one foot. If you have a line, you can go in front and then back behind the line, nice and quick. And we'll swap feet. Good work, staying on those toes. Nice, and then to finish, we're gonna come up onto our tippy toes, and then you're gonna lift one toe up, nice and high, and then the other one. So we're just balancing on one tippy toe and lifting the other one up. So we're trying to just strengthen our calves a little bit here, get our feet and ankles nice and warm. Trying to keep our balance at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna get into our workout now that we're nice and warm. How it's gonna work is I'm gonna give you 11 exercises and we're gonna do each one for 30 seconds and then we'll get 15 seconds rest and I'll explain the next exercise in the break. So to start with, the first one is a reverse lunge. So you're stepping backwards in this nice 90 degree angle in both knees and then back to standing. So just stepping backwards on one foot, back to standing. If you want a bit of an extra challenge, when you come up, you can do a little hop and then just go straight back down again. So you don't come back to standing, instead you do a hop. All right, I'm gonna set my timer up and then we're gonna get into it. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. All right, so we're ready for our first one, reverse lunge, and let's go. So you can do the hop, or you can just step backwards and then bring the feet together. Keeping the chest up nice and high, really pushing through the heel of this front foot, and our bum as well. Staying nice and strong. 10 seconds left. You can challenge yourself with that hop if you want at the end. So you're hopping up and then going straight back. And three, two, one. Short break and then we're gonna get into the other leg. Same thing exactly. So again, we wanna keep the chest up nice and high as we step backwards. Making sure our hips are facing forwards the whole time. Ready and go. So stepping backwards into the reverse lunge. You can 
add the hop if you want the extra challenge. Good work halfway guys. Nice, nearly there. Keep going. And three, two, one, and break. Good work. All right, next exercise we're going into is a squat. So feet shoulder width apart, squatting down, and then you're kicking one leg straight behind you, then squatting down, and then the other leg behind you. Ready, and let's go. So squat, kick back, squat, kick back. Squat, kick back, squat, kick back. So we're really working our bum and hamstring here when we're kicking backwards behind us. Good work. Trying to stay nice and stable through the legs, especially when we're standing on that single leg. And three, two, one, and break. Good work, guys. All right, next one, we're bringing the arms into it. We're doing some punches. So we're having split stance here. Hands are in front of our chin, and we're just gonna go one, two, one, two, really quick for 30 seconds, as fast as you can. Ready, and go. Really quick here. Making sure we're bringing those arms back in towards our chest and then extending them nice and quick in front. Try and keep a nice steady pace the whole time. Don't go too fast at the start, then you get too tired at the end. Good work, keep it up, 10 seconds left. Try and maintain this pace that you have. And five, four, three, two, one. Good work guys, all right. Next, we're going into lunge jumps with a pause in between. So we're going lunge, back to the middle, then the other leg. So we're coming back to the middle in between. Ready and let's go. So just pausing in between, touching the feet together pretty much like standing and then into the next split lunge on the other leg. Good work. 10 seconds left, guys. And break. Well done. Next, we're going into a push-up. You can do this on your knees or toes. So push-up, and then we're going to reach out diagonally. So one leg and arm lifting up. If that's a bit hard, just one arm. Let's go. So push up, reaching up with one arm, one foot, the diagonal. So if we're doing the right foot, it's the left hand reaching. Otherwise, just do the hand and you can do the push ups on your knees as well if you're finding it a bit hard. Nearly there guys, five seconds left. This is how you do it on your knees. Nearly there and break. Well done guys. Next we're gonna go into wall sit. So we're at 90 degrees here, feet shoulder width apart, hips the same height as our knees. We're just holding this. If you don't have a wall, just hold a squat. Let's go. So nice position, our, our feet and knees are shoulder width apart here. Our bum is nice and level with our knees. Hands on hips. You can cheat a little bit if you put your hands on your knees. So we're just holding this position, trying to push through our heels and not our toes to make the backs of our legs work. Should feel a burn by now. We have five seconds left. Holding the squat position alternatively. And break, good work guys. Next, we're back into our plank position on our hands. Nice and flat, we're twisting to one side, back to the middle, twisting to the other side. So we're just alternating. Staying nice and flat the whole time. Let's go. So keeping that core nice and strong. Don't let that bum go too high or too low. Trying to stay nice and controlled. Keep the hand underneath the shoulders. Don't want your hand reaching too far out in front or being too close to your feet. Trying to keep it directly below your shoulder. Good work, five seconds guys. Stay nice and strong. And break. Next, we're doing burpees, everyone's favorite. So we're doing a jump up, hands down, jump back, 
jump in, jump up. If that's a bit hard, you can step back and in. Ready and let's go. So big jumps, jumping the feet back into a nice plank and then going again. Try to just keep a steady pace here. Good work. We are halfway, keep going guys. You're doing great. Staying strong through those legs. If you're getting a bit tired, you can step back into that plank. Step back in, you can take the jump out even. And break. Amazing work. Well done. We're coming down onto our back now. We have two exercises left. We're doing bicycle crunches. So the hands by your ears, feet are both off the ground. You're bringing one knee across to the elbow. Let's go. So crossing over, only your back should be on the ground here. So the feet are staying off the ground the whole time. The elbows are staying off. We're just crossing elbow across to opposite knee. So we're working our tummy muscles here. Staying nice and strong. 10 seconds left, guys. Keep it up, nearly there. Three, two, one, and break. Awesome, you can stay on the ground. To finish, we're gonna do a Superman hold. So on our tummy, we're just lifting our shoulders and our legs up, and we're just holding that position to work our back muscles. Two, one, and let's go. So trying to keep your legs nice and high, also your arms and your chest. So pretty much just your tummy is on the ground here. Trying to work our posterior chain muscles. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. This is our last exercise. You guys are doing great. Nearly there. 10 seconds left. Hold it. Stay strong. Three, two, one, and break. Amazing. That is the workout done. Grab your water bottle, grab a drink. Okay guys, now we are gonna get into some fast feet agility exercises. So this is something that I train myself with my squad because we always need to stay agile and quick on our toes in badminton because we're always changing direction. The shuttle comes so quick, we have to really be ready to always move. So I'm gonna show you some exercises and we're gonna do the exercise and then I'm gonna call out either up, down, left or right as we're doing it. So for the first one, what we're gonna do Start with your feet kind of together, shoulder width apart. You're gonna go out to the side, back to the middle, one forwards, one backwards, back to the middle. Out to the side, back to the middle, the other one forwards and backwards, back to the middle. So you're making a cross shape and you're coming back to the middle each time. If that's a bit too complicated, you can go in and out. So we're gonna do this as fast as we can, like so. And this is making our brain work a little bit as well because we have to focus on that pattern. So when we're doing that, then I'm gonna call that up. If I call that up, you do a jump and then you get back into the exercise straight away. If I call down, you go down to your tummy, get straight back up and then back into the exercise straight away. Now in badminton, we always lunge with the same leg. So I'm right-handed, I always lunge with my right leg. So if you're left-handed, we're always gonna use our left leg. So when I say left, you bring, if you're right-handed, you bring your right leg across, do a lunge back to the middle and into the exercise. If I say right, you lunge out to the right, back to the middle, back into that exercise. Hope you get the hang of that. Let's get into it. So we're doing that cross. If that's a little bit complicated, just in and out. Ready? And let's go. Listening for my calls here, focusing on your feet and the pattern. Up, big jump. Good work. Back into it, nice quick on our toes. Left, lunging across to our left, back to the middle. And down, down onto our tummy, straight back up, nice and quick on our toes, good, right, back into it, last one, left, good work guys, hope you kept up there, it was pretty fast, but I hope you were onto the calls and you got that pattern down pat. Alright, next, next one is we're doing one foot forward, one foot forward, Back, back, one, one, back, back. 
So we're going nice and quick, forwards and backwards, leading with one foot. So from the side, it's forward, forwards, back, back, forwards, forwards, back, back. Same thing, listen for my call. All right, ready and let's go. On the toes here, really quick, left. Good, keep going. Up, nice big jumps. Forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, down. Down to your tummy, back up. Forward, forward, back, back, nice, quick, 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 up. Last one here. Forward, forward, back, back, back. Right. Good work, all right. Final one now, we'll have a quick rest and then we'll do our last one. Our last one is going in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. So similar to the one we just did, but in and out this time. So fast, it looks like this. So one foot in, other one in, and then out, out. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. If it's a bit complicated, you can just do double leg in and out as well. All right, last one, ready, and let's go. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Nice and quick here on the toes. Left. Good, and back to the middle. On the toes, nice and quick. Right. Good. Fast, 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 down. Straight back up again. Quick, 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 up. Good. And left. Last one. Fast, up. Well done, guys. Grab another drink if you need it. I need it. <laughs> Okay, now we're into the last part, which is some skill. So grab your badminton racket and a shuttlecock or your table tennis bat and a balloon, whatever you might have to use. Just something that you can hit up and do some skills with and some hand-eye coordination practice with. So we're just gonna start with hitting up on the spot, really focusing on watching the shuttle, trying to get our racket directly under it and making sure our eyes are tracking it really carefully. This is a skill in itself, making sure your eyes can follow something moving. Good work. All right, next we're gonna try and do the same thing, but on our left hand. So when we use the other hand, it works the other side of our brain. So we're working our right side of our brain if we're using our left hand right now. And Definitely challenging, even for me, because I never really use my left hand. So if you guys are beginners, I know what that feels like right now, because I feel like a beginner with my left hand. Good, so just keep practicing. If you drop it, just pick it up again and try again. Whoop. All right. Nice work guys. We're going to go back to our dominant hand. So for me, that's my right hand. Hitting up and down. We're going to try and go down and touch the ground with our opposite hand that's so free. And then you come back up, go down again to the ground, come back up. So this is hard because our body's in a different position and it's harder to keep our racket and the shuttle in the same spot when we're bending forward and going down. Good work. Keep giving that a go. And then we'll move on to the next one. Next, we're going to try go in a 360 spin. So we're just going to slowly hit the shuttle to the side, making us spin around. So we're just trying to control our body and where the shuttle's going so we can gradually walk around in a circle. So you can try and go the other direction as well. Just little hits going around to the side so that you can rotate slowly. Good work guys, I'm sure you're killing it. All right, next we're gonna go into a flip of the racket face. So we're gonna hit it up on one side and then flip it over to the other side. So practicing just changing our grip a little bit and getting used to hitting it on the other side and having that awareness of the racket and where to hit it so that it goes straight up. So we're just flipping it over from one side to the other. Good 
Good work. You might need to hit it a little bit higher to give yourself time here. So this is kind of getting us used to the concept of backhand and forehand. So in badminton, the backhand is out on the side across your body. So for me, I'm right-handed, it's on the left side of my body, that's my backhand. And then the right side of my body, that's my forehand. So we're gonna work on that now. Same thing, we're gonna work on hitting the forehand on this side and then hitting the shuttle across to the backhand on this side. So you're just trying to control it across your body from one side to the other and changing which side of the racket face it is landing on. So it's just like this, just a bit loopy to give yourself time, hitting it across from one side to the other. So you're hitting it on both sides of your racket face. Good work guys. So you can see how many times you can do this in a row as a bit of a challenge. And then maybe if it's easy, you can go a bit faster or a little bit wider, maybe add some footwork in as well. Great guys. All right, we're gonna pop down our shuttle, ball or balloon, and we're just gonna keep the racket. So I'm gonna talk you through the overhead swing now. So this is a really important shot in badminton because we hit a lot of shots from the rear court or the back of the court, such as the drop shot, the smash, the clear, those kinds of things. So the positioning and the swing is really important. It's kind of similar to a tennis serve if you ever played tennis. So how you wanna start is bringing the elbow up so it's parallel and in line with our shoulder. And then our racket and arm is pointing up so it's, the racket is above our head here. So I don't want your racket behind you or your arm down here like that. It's in line here and then the racket's above your head here. This free arm is gonna be pointing out in front of you. You're gonna bring back that arm, open your chest and then reach up with the elbow, the racket goes behind you and then swing through at the top and rotate across your body. So we're just working on this starting position being nice and then reaching up and going across our body. So make sure that elbow is in the right position, the racket is there as well. Maybe if you have a mirror, you can do this in front of the mirror or a window or video yourself to watch it back and see if you look similar to me. Good work. So we're just practicing this swing, following through. So I'm trying to hit the shuttle in front of me, the imaginary shuttle. We're not using a real shuttle right now. So I'm facing sideways and then finishing facing towards the direction that I'm hitting it. So just keep practicing this stroke here. Good work. All right, now we're gonna add in a jump. So in badminton, pretty much the higher you can hit the shuttle, the more angle you can get down onto your opponent's side. So when we jump, we get you know a few more like 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters that we can hit the shuttle down and go onto our opponent's side. So a similar thing that we just did, except we're gonna reach up and then jump and turn as we're hitting. So we're facing sideways and then jumping and turning as we hit. So get into a nice position, elbow nice and parallel with the shoulder, racket above the head, arm out, and then we're jumping, turning, and hitting. So it's a 180 degree jump. Good, we'll just practice this a few more times to try and get the hang of it. Swinging through. Make sure you're not gonna hit any lights or roofs when doing this as well. Okay guys, that is it. That's the end of the skill session and the end of this workout. I hope you enjoyed the workout, the agility and learned something new, tried something new with the racket and the shuttlecock. Um, I hope that it was a good way to get active and to get a little workout, get the heart pumping as well. So join me for another video. I have two other ones that is more that are a bit more beginner as well. So give them a go if you want. Thanks very much. Bye.